about to break you loose from everything that's hindering a blessing. I'm about to say something and put something in the atmosphere that's gonna make you fry. I'm about to break some stuff off of you that you didn't even know was holding you back. I'm about to move you into verse two. And all I gotta do is get a word. And Bishop got a word from the Lord. And when I say that word, touch your neighbor and say, when I say that word, get ready to be set free and every curse from hell be broke off your life. This is the day that the Lord has made. I didn't get up this early in the morning to play church. I didn't get up this early in the morning to be profiling and playing and trying to impress you. The only person I came to impress is God. I came to worship him. I came to celebrate him. I came for life. The gathering is back. You got an account full of healing, full of prosperity, full of peace, full of power, full of deliverance. You got an account. Prayer warriors, get ready. Expect earth shattering prayer. We expect God to see miracles like never before. The things we've prayed about for so many days and so many months and so many years, God. Expect the supernatural. A prayer encounter like none other. It happens over three full days. Thursday, June 6th, 7 p.m. Friday, June 7th, 7 p.m. And Saturday, June 8th, 10 a.m. Where? At New Birth. Of course, the gathering. Now, I want you to understand, say cycles. If there are any negative cycles in your life that continue to repeat themselves, uh, you need to get this CD because as you get it, uh, and I've had a group and we've been studying this and so they know uh, what, we've been what we've been talking about. You gotta hear it, you gotta move in it and, and understand it, but you gotta sit and start thinking about your life. And if there's a cycle that's going on in your life that events, kind of negative events, continue to happen without invitation, that, that means it's, a, it's, it's time for you to reflect because somewhere in this life, you need deliverance. Now, now, that's not saying you're a bad person. That's just saying that something got on you that you didn't know got on you. And, and, and until you recognize it and denounce it, you're going to continue to move in this cycle. That every time you feel like you're about to break free, then you're all the way back to where you started. This thing has been going on too long, and you're about to get out of that and move into the blessing place. Touch your name and say, I'm getting out of this, and I'm taking you with me. Some of us go through this cycle where we start to get depressed. I don't know who I'm talking to, and, and we go through these same circumstances that causes us to get depressed, and we don't feel like, uh, you don't feel like you're making any progress forward. Please understand, that's an anatomy for a suicidal spirit, and because when you don't feel like you're moving forward, you start getting depressed, and you start thinking that, that, that's, that life is all over. This means that there's a cycle that needs to be broken. Now, it could be in your finance. It could be in your emotions. It could 
be in your job or the marketplace, your employment. It could be in your business. It could be in relationships. It could be in marriages. It can be once you get one sickness healed, something else breaks out, and, and you're taking pills for three or four different things. So something wrong up in here. I said something wrong up in here. You done come to church, you done prayed too much for all that to be going on. But we're going to speak some things and make healing jump in your body. Now, if you don't expect it, you ain't going to get it. <clears throat> Touch your name and say, we're going to break this cycle. We gonna, tell, tell, tell them, say, I'm sorry, I ain't going to break it. Say, I'm not going to break it. Because I've been broke some things and I put them back together. Tell them, we absolutely going to destroy this sucker. When you destroy this sucker, it can't be put back together. I'm about to get the power of God, the burden removing, yoke destroying power of the anointing and his anointing. Watch this. This means that there's a negative, I want you to understand, there's a negative force in our lives that is working against us that will not allow you to move forward. And you hadn't been able to understand that. And so it, it, this negative force ends up in causing this certain routine in your life. Uh, and it begins and brings about much pain. And even if you were to move to another state, move to another country, go to another place, if there has been no deliverance, the curse that could manifest where you were will now join you where you are and that depression and pain. Some of you came from New York, Mississippi, from Kansas City, from California. You came to get set free and it seems like you was happy for six months and seemed like that thing just came up on you. I'm here to tell you, you about to send that back to hell today. Remember I said God gave Abram a word. Say, God give me a word. Please note this, please note this, please note this. Only knowing Jesus. <laughs> Only knowing Jesus, the Christ, the anointed, and his anointing, and studying the truth of the word will we be truly free from oppression, and spiritual bondage. He said in John 8, 31 and 32, he said, then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, if you abide in me and my word, you are truly my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Does your name say it's in about 10 minutes? I'm going to be free. H have you ever noticed this? Please hear this. Have you ever noticed, have you ever observed somebody or even yourself who wanted to change, but you couldn't? And I'm going to tell you why. It's because there were negative forces <laughs> that was protecting, <laughs> and, and they were protected by evil spirits. Watch this. That hindered them or you from changing. Watch this. Watch this. Even though a person wants to change, and, 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 and we've made promises to ourselves that we're going to change, uh, but, but never able to do it. Now, uh, remember I said they want to change, but they're evil spirits that are guarding it and won't let the change happen. Bishop, make that make sense. All right. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Uh, Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. All right. What does that mean? Seventh verse, and said, and the peace of God, which surpasses what? What is it going to do? What, what is it going to do? The, the, what's that one word? What, what is it guarding? In who? 
what, what, what's, so, so it means my question to you, New Birth, this morning is, who's guarding your heart? If, if an evil spirit is guarding your heart, even though you want to change, you can't change because what God wants to get in you can't get by the guard. Because you're too busy getting evil words and feeding the evil guard that the peace of God can't come in and take control. Watch this now. That, that, that is the right. That's the reason why. This is the reason why. Here, here's the thing. Here's the reason. Here it is. Say, say, say it, Bishop. Tell me the reason. Say, tell, tell me the reason. Lean up. This is a secret. Most people don't know this. Lean up. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you something. This is why you cannot play with sin. You can't just dabble in it a little bit. Because if you do a little dabbling, a little dab will do you. Because while you dabbling, you're putting that dabble guarding over your heart. That's the reason why you need to be able to kick everything out that does not line up with the Word of God. Because it ain't just a moment of pleasure that you're having. You're giving access and authority to the kingdom of darkness to keep you in the old mode. But if you kick that out and stop playing with that stuff, touch your name and say, quit playing with that. Touch him and say, I'm here to tell you, fire will burn. And if you lay down with dogs, you will get some fleas. That's why he says, and you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The word of God, ear. The truth, <clears throat> watch this, which is the word of God is the only remedy to deliverance. Now, I got to make you, I got, I got to set you free. Got to do another confession, then I'm going to run. Because you're saying, I don't quite understand what you're saying, Bishop, but I'm catching it. I don't quite understand, but help me. But let me, let me get ahead of myself for a moment. And, and I want to enter us into true freedom. You ready for that? I, I need you to stand for this. I need you to stand. I'm about seven minutes from your freedom. And if nobody else gets free, I am. There's, touch your name and say, there's some stuff that jumped on you from your country. Now your country represents what region you were born in, what land you were born on. There's some stuff that was connected with that land that as soon as you were born got on you. And it wasn't all good stuff. And so we got to get this bad stuff off of us so we can live in the good stuff. Repeat after me, I renounce in the name of Jesus every lie that has been tied to vice, to sin, to ignorance, to false worship, to covenant with evil. Today, I declare that my life, my heart, my mind, and my thoughts are not controlled by evil powers, but by the power of the almighty Word of God. I give an order to my conscious and subconscious mind, being awake or sleep, that my life is subject to the Word of God. Every perverse and evil spirit that bothers me, I order you 
you do not have a legal right in me and by the power of God and by the blood of Jesus the Christ shed on the cross therefore I declare that I am free from here and now and forever always in the name of Jesus amen 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 oh give him praise give him praise give him praise hallelujah touch three people and said I done loosed you from something I've been loose from something now I want you to know it I ain't through yet but I need you to understand something for some of you that said I said it but I didn't feel nothing that don't mean nothing didn't happen I'm here to tell you there was some yokes destroyed and burdens removed off of you and every day it's going to come clearer and clearer to you the depression is gone the suicidal the spirit is gone you destroyed a cycle don't let yourself be convinced that saying the word of God has no power and the devil is crying You may be seated in the presence of the almighty God. I'm, I say, I'm being delivered from the curse of the land. Now, please hear this, because I want to give you instructions. Please hear this. Uh, 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 there are places, I want you to hear this, where the inhabitants are bound to the pain, separation, divorce, sexual immorality, family disorders, continued grief and drama. There are regions where you find a lot of this. I'm going to say it. The inhabitants of that region, of that city, of that, 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 that section, that community is bound by pain. There's a whole lot of separation. There's a lot of divorce, sexual immorality, drugs, family disorders, grief and drama. I've described somebody's life resume and, and, and you were born into it because you were born in that land. What's this now? And, and we end up being the people of the land under the curse unless the yoke is destroyed by the power of the word of Jesus to Christ. And uh, uh, we couldn't be different even if we wanted to. This is why God said to Abram, get out of that land. Abram, I'm about to bless you, but you got to get out of that land. There's stuff in that land that's going to mess you up. This is, this, this is a a great revelation that speaks of, of, of supernatural breaking of a curse upon a land and it's the recognition that it needs to be destroyed. Now some of you looking at me in that tone of voice and you don't understand but check this out. Tell your neighbor say check this out. If, if, if study where you came from and, and the land you were born. If, if the city or, or, uh, has a lot of vices Divorce, sudden deaths, sickness, financial loss. These curses will follow you. Where you from? Can you walk up and down the street and find most of the families are divorced? I can remember when I was in high school taking a young man through our frat and mentoring him, Elder Campbell, everybody in his community in Walltown, Durham, his age, 
went to jail, was hooked on drugs, or got killed. He was the only one that made it. Somebody says, I don't, I don't say, well, what, what's this suffering thing that in this town? Well, what, where you, what, what are you carrying? Well, Bishop, how does it get, how does it get, how does it get, how do you tie that to the land? Well, okay, well, let me tell you, Genesis 3, 17 uh, through 19. Uh, then to Adam he said, because you have hidden uh, the vo from the voice of your God and listened to your wife and have eaten from the tree which I commanded you, saying, you shall not eat of. Cursed is the ground. For your sake, in toil, you shall eat of it. And the days of your life, both thorns and thistles shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat of the herbs of the field. And in the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, and dust you are, and dust you shall return. And everyone born after him received the same curse until the word was made flesh and when they received the word they were broken from the curse of the ground that's the reason why he said through thorns and thistles that's the reason why Jesus had a crown of thorns was to let us know I'm about to break you from the curse of the land uh, uh, got to have two witnesses when Cain slew Abel in Genesis 4 and 10. And the Lord said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. If you're in an area that's had a lot of murders, that spirit is in that land. The robbing, the mugging, the divorce, the abuse. You carry it until now. God told Abram to leave your land. Repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am free from the curse of the land by the power of the Word of God. I declare that my inheritance conforms to the redemption of Jesus Christ, my Savior. Amen, amen, and amen. Give Him praise. Now watch this. I need you to spread across the aisle real quick. Don't grab hands. Spread across the aisle. Tell them we're about to kill this thing now. So we got one more good prayer to get out. And freedom is here. I need you to say this with an attitude. God Almighty, in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ, we renounce all types of inheritance that has been in us as a product of the curse of the land. Eternal God, even the most hidden and deep ones, in the name of Jesus, we renounce by the power of the blessed word of God. Those curses cannot be in our life because we are redeemed in Christ. Deliver us once and for all. There is a prison keeping you from the good life. There may be no stone walls or steel bars, but a prison just the same that's keeping you from God's plan and your purpose. Sickness, failed marriage, addiction, fear, depression, poverty, whatever the name your prison is, know this, there's a force at work in your life that's got you chained, holding you back, keeping you down. 
a force that has you in a prison that pills won't fix, diet plans won't solve, and books or people with no real solutions to get you out of your cycle of never-ending problems, situations, or circumstances. But today, right now, this very minute, with one single call, now is your chance to break free. I'm about to break you loose from everything that's hindering a blessing. I'm about to break some stuff off of you that you didn't even know was holding you back. Get ready to be set free and every curse from hell be broke off your life. This is the day that the Lord has made. I didn't get up this early in the morning to play church. In this powerful five-part series, Breaking Free, Bishop Eddie Long reveals the steps to help you decisively overcome strongholds in your life. Pride, idolatry, addiction, loss, depression, unbelief, temptation, and so much more. No matter how overwhelmed or out of control your life might be, in this series, Breaking Free, you'll discover how no problem you face or giant in your life is bigger or more powerful than the God you serve. I'm here to tell you there was some yokes destroyed and burdens removed off of you. The depression is gone. The suicidal the spirit is gone. You destroyed a cycle. Don't let yourself be convinced that saying the word of God has no power. Discover why you're living in a cycle of debt, depression, and destructive behavior. How to understand the force of the enemy, find him at work in your world, and get him out for good. How to develop spiritual power in your thought life and through the words you speak. In what's being hailed as one of the most powerful, thought-provoking series to stomp out alcoholism, pornography, and gambling, to break people free from depression, hopelessness, and sadness that brings healing to the mind, to the body, and revitalizes the soul. This five-part series is yours today on CD for the low gift amount of $30 or on DVD for just $40. Also with your order today to help you fight back the devil every step of the way, Bishop Long wants to send you a very special weekly email that'll help you pray the kind of prayers that shift the atmosphere and stop the enemy dead in his tracks. You'll learn the right words to speak and scripture that break the yoke of bondage in every area of your life. But that's not all. With your order today, Bishop Long wants to give you a free copy of today's message, a $10 value, but free with your order to watch again and again. Add to your collection or get this into the hands of someone you love who needs to break free right now. The doorways to freedom are now wide open for you. It's time to step forward into God's will of prosperity, power, promise, and purpose and break free. Call now. The gathering is back. You got an account full of healing, full of prosperity. Prayer warriors, get ready. Expect earth-shattering prayer. We expect God to see miracles like never before. The things we've prayed about for so many days and so many months and so many years, God. Expect the supernatural. A prayer encounter like none other. It happens over three full days, Thursday, June 6th, 7 p.m., Friday, June 7th, 7 p.m., and Saturday, June 8th, 10 a.m. Where? At Newburgh, of course, The Gathering. 